In this video, I'll be showing the development of a free by diagram from an interaction diagram. Our observation we'll see once again is a block sliding down a ramp at constant velocity. In a previous video, I showed how to build the interaction diagram. Notice there are three interactions, friction force, a normal force, and a gravitational force. To start off with, we're going to go ahead and take the block or the object we're going to analyze and we're going to reduce it down to a single dot. We'll start with the gravitational interaction between the earth and the block. As most students are aware, the interaction on the block by the earth will be directed towards the center of the earth or in our frame of reference, down. We'll start at our object, which is the block or the dot in this case, and draw an arrow down. We'll then label it with a convention of the type of force, gravitational, on block by Earth. We'll continue this process and go to the normal force. By definition, the normal force is perpendicular to the surfaces. If we look at the ramp supporting the block, or in this case, acting on the block, it is acting perpendicular away from the ramp towards the block. Head and move this force vector to our free body diagram. We'll label this in the same convention of type on by with normal on block by ramp. Well, the final force will be the friction force. The friction force opposes the tendency of motion and is parallel to the surfaces. We'll go ahead and move this to our free body diagram and label it as friction force on block by ramp. Here you have a completed free body diagram.